Hello, we're going to talk about drawing the product of a Wittig reaction. This is not the same as what we are doing in previous videos and in the beginning of this class where you looked at the entire mechanism for the reaction. This is just a shortcut for determining or predicting the product of a Wittig reaction. So if you look at the Wittig, what we always have is the carbon atoms of the carbonyl bind to the carbon atoms next to the phosphorus through a new double bond that replaces the double bond to the oxygen. This is very simplified, but it means you can draw the product quickly. So I redraw my electrophile and I draw the whole thing except the oxygen. So I do the double bond. And then I just add the, all of the atoms and I make sure I'm adding the carbon that was bonded to the phosphorus and it will replace this oxygen. So this carbon will replace that oxygen and we form this product. These three carbons were added. Similarly, when you see one that's really a Wadsworth Horner Emmons, a similar type reaction. We look for the atom next to the phosphorus. This hydrogen will be acidic and this will be my nucleophilic carbon. So we can go over and draw the electrophile. That's the phenyl next to the carbon, double bond, but I leave out the oxygen and I replace it with this carbon. So this carbon and the methyl group and the CO2 ethyl. So that's it. You can quickly predict the product of a Wittig without having to draw the entire mechanism.